Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. Enrico Palermo is head of Australia's space agency. I spoke to him earlier. Enrico Palermo, I want you to describe what was going through your mind when you saw Artemis take off. It was an exhilarating moment. You know, that was the world's world's largest ever rocket uh, taking off on a journey back to the moon, something humanity uh, hasn't done for several decades. And uh, it was a culmination of so many work by our partners at NASA and, and European Space Agency and other partners around the world. Um, it's not just, of course, a journey back to the moon. It's a journey to the moon, the far side of the moon and beyond. How significant a moment is this in the next stage of space exploration? Uh, very significant. This is the first of uh, three increasingly complex missions that will see humans return to the surface of the moon. But it's not about going back. It's about developing a permanent, a sustainable presence on the moon and using the moon as a base for scientific research and ultimately as a leaping off platform into other parts of the solar system. And the goal for the rest of the solar system, of course, begins with Mars. That's right. The US has said Mars is the next objective for human exploration uh, after the moon and, and moon's going to provide that uh, excellent base to, to get there. What's the idea? How long will our astronauts spend on the moon eventually when they're on their way to Mars? Well, initially, the, the trips will be relatively short as infrastructure is established. Infrastructure, I hope, Australia will help build uh, one day. Uh, but eventually, it'll go into campaigns of months and even longer. And it, and it draws parallel with what humanity does with Antarctica today, with, with campaigns of, of engineers and scientists and hopefully artists and philosophers spending time there um, uh, to study and, and perform that uh, exploration that's heart of our DNA. Of course, that means we're going to see a whole slew of movies about monsters hiding behind rocks, just as we do in the Arctic and Ana Antarctic, aren't we? <laughs> uh, perhaps, but I don't think we're going to find any on the moon. But, uh, you know, Apollo and now Artemis has inspired, you know, generations of scientists and engineers, uh, much science fiction that we've seen today. And, you know, that new wave, the, the Artemis generation starts now. And just tell me, in terms of what, uh, I know you've got mannequins inside the rocket, what is it that we need to understand about the human body before we can contemplate those extraordinary further voyages? So this first test of the space launch system actually will stress the vehicle much more than when humans are on board. It will go further away from the moon than uh, the crewed missions plan to go. Uh, but it's going to collect important data about the radiation environment, uh, the cabin environment, the humidity, the, the breathing environment, uh, so it can be tuned because the next mission will have astronauts on board for a return mission uh, around the moon, much like Apollo 8. And apart from sharing in the excitement of the exploration, Australia's playing a specific role in the navigation of the voyage, yeah? Absolutely. It's critical Australia is not a bystander as humanity returns to the moon. Uh, there's going to be a wave of innovation, international partnerships and certainly inspiration. And particularly for this mission, NASA's Canberra Deep Space Communication Complex, uh, just out of South of Canberra, that's operated by the CSIRO, is an integral part of this mission. Uh, they've uh, you know, picked up signals from the vehicle shortly after launch. And throughout from launch to splash, splashdown, NASA will be relying on the, the team uh, at Canberra that are trained, that they've upgraded their equipment uh, to make the mission a success. Uh, it's fantastic to hear the details. We'll, we'll come back to you along the way. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you.